Dr. Margaret Cahirli uh, uh, Minister, you're very welcome to the House. In the short time that I have, can I say first of all that I welcome not only the report of the Commission but the Government's response to it. And I think it's tremendously important that we take this issue seriously. For too long it has been left on the back burner. And I have heard criticisms of um, you know, the, the inflationary effects, for example, of the current environment. We hope those inflationary effects will not be permanent. So I welcome the fact that the Government has committed to providing the funding that's necessary to get to the level that has been identified. Uh, I have an American intern working with me at the moment, um, Brennan Nealon is her name. And I was trying to explain to her today the difference between attitudes to militarization here and in America. Um, to say that she was um, astonished at the fact that we don't have the radar capability to identify planes flying in over our west coast, for example, in, in certain situations is, is an understatement. Um, and I think it's, it's items like that, that in a modern country like Ireland, it's very difficult to understand. Um, and it is absolutely right and proper that we should be putting in place measures to address fairly significant lacunae and deficits in our defence of this island. So I welcome that and I welcome the investment not just in the Defence Forces, but particularly in the personnel of the Defence Forces, which comes part and parcel. The Defence Forces cannot exist in real terms without the morale of the people who staff it, the people who run it, the people who make it excellent, being as high as it possibly can be. And I welcome the fact that the Government is committed to addressing those issues as well. As we make steps forward in terms of providing a greater facility for Defence Forces, Minister, you will remember that I have raised on you, with you on a number of issues the possibility of the extension of the Naval Service in particular. And as an island nation, it is also appropriate that we should have in place significant cover across our coasts to defend those coasts in all the ways that they need to be defended, from customs to uh, drug trafficking to smuggling and whatever else. In that regard, I welcome the, the, the announcement of the purchase of the two coastal patrol vessels from the New Zealand Navy, and I welcome the fact that the Irish Sea, as not just an Irish border but an EU border now, will also be properly patrolled. I can't help seeing that the obvious place to base such a patrol is in Dunleary Harbour, where where there is capacity and room, and I must say a great excitement in the local people. Bullock Harbour, as you well know, Senator McDougall, is, is also needs work, but it's too small to take these coastal patrol vessels. But I hope, Minister, that you will give that serious concern, con thought as we move forward, because there, there is great potential there for Dunleary Harbour. <coughs>